Oh hey, didn't see you there. Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be explaining evolution and natural selection. Now I'll start with evolution. Now evolution is changes to organisms over a long period of time. In fact, all living things on the planet evolved from single-celled organisms over 4 billion years ago. Now, I'll start off with the two theories. There were two people, one called Charles Darwin, who you've probably heard of, and another man called Lamarck, and they had different theories about how evolution occurred. I'll start off with Lamarck. What Lamarck thought was that organisms change during their lifetime. For example, during its own lifetime, a giraffe's neck would grow as it strained for food, and it could then pass on these features to the next generation. Now, we know this can't be the case, because firstly, an organism's features can't change that much during its own lifetime, and secondly, it um, would not then be able to pass these on, because even if it changed, it wouldn't be able to change its own genes during its lifetime. So, Darwin, what Darwin thought was that there would be variation in the population. So, for example, some giraffes would have long necks, some would have slightly shorter necks. The ones that were best suited would be able to survive and breed and then pass on these features to the next generation. And we now know, after collecting a lot of evidence, that Darwin was correct. And this theory is known as the theory of evolution by natural selection. So I'll explain it very quickly. The first step is there is variation in a population. So it could be variation in the population, or there could be a mutation. Now, mutation is a change in genes, um, and it could lead to a new feature. The next step is there'd be some kind of selection pressure, which would cause the uh, individuals to compete. So the best ones, so the best suited individuals will survive. So for example, with giraffes, giraffes with long necks will survive. They will then breed. So those giraffes will then breed, so the long necked giraffes will breed with each other and they will pass on They'll pass on their genes and therefore they'll pass on their features. And very simply, that is evolution by natural selection. Uh, they could link this to antibiotic resistance in bacteria. Now that's just a, a little tip, they could link that to that in the exam. Now, initially, Darwin's ideas weren't accepted. That's for three reasons. Firstly, people were very religious, believed in God, and believed in creationism. Uh, secondly, we didn't have an understanding of genes at that point and how inheritance worked. And thirdly, there was not enough evidence. Now, we had some evidence. So in an exam where they ask you, you can't say he had no evidence, but he didn't have enough evidence. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you can also find me on Twitter at Rushcliffe Bio. Thank you very much.